Good boy. <laughs> go on. Go, go, go. No, come. Good. Okay. Didn't have to correct him, so. Come. Perfect. Okay. So just understand that he is not slow, okay? There's a lot of people that accept slower response on the Great Danes. Yours is not one of them. Um, yours is actually really, really good. Come. And he can do it in the pace of a normal dog. Maybe not a boxer, but, okay. Um, he doesn't have any kind of uh, slow issues whatsoever come at all now obviously I wouldn't do that in that pace unless I'm training okay but um, you know that many times I would obviously let him go and walk for some more but I want to do a video so that's why I'm doing it so often but um, he as you can see his response time is a normal as any dog. Absolutely. So don't make any excuses for him. And don't think that he needs more time. He doesn't. So if he's too slow. Okay. Come. Um, don't accept it. Okay. That means don't give him treats. That means don't praise him. I just want to point that out because it's very important on your part. Since a lot of a lot of people think that they, you know, respond slower. But pee pee time. Pee pee time. Good boy. Very good. He is not like the, all the others that we call giraffes. They can't put together their feet and they can't put together anything. Sometimes he can't put together his feet, but, okay, come. So it's the same place where he had it last time when we just started. So I specifically waited until he is sniffing it to, to see if he's gonna give me problems this time around or not, and he did not. Okay, so that's, the good part about that he's a perfect animal absolutely perfect come and his response time is normal and i put more crap into your eyes with the treats than i am actually taking out of it okay <laughs> so silly so silly he is a silly puppy, but he's incredible. Come. That would be the last time. All right. Very good boy. Very good. Excellent. 
So this is the stuff that you really have to do, and even though it's very slobbery, slobbery as heck. There you go. So you can see everything what's going on with a pup. And it's basically, you know, the mouth, the ears, the... One second. Okay. Mouth, the ears, the eyes, um, everything as far as that goes. And he's loving it, so but he needs to make you need to make sure that you can see everything because what happens is if he's going to get sick on anything you know eye infection or ear infection or whatever if you don't do that regularly then he's going to protest you know anything being treated and this is going to be a lot this is this exercise once or twice a week or whatever you know when you remember he loves it look at him he lives for that he was already kissed her like three thousand times um so all of that is very important for you to see and make sure that you see everything and he's okay with that mm -hmm. all right very good and obviously you're not uh brushing them or anything however we're gonna do the uh, pause before we do the nails i want to address these things so this thing and let's say that thing right there um could you just kind of try this is already pretty much pretty good pretty much nothing left from there but he has this one right here too now all of that is when they grow up and they're growing up you know with the big big bones but the, but skin and and meat is very um much not on those parts so this is just a beginning of colosis and when they're young obviously um they're gonna be bigger because there's just nothing on those paws they grow the bones that grow faster than anything else it's dry it's not bad and it's only like the reason why this is here is because when he lies down most of the time that's how he's lying down he's putting the paw over there so that's a point of contact that was the first one that he had and see how the paws grow in now there's no bump in there so it heals up perfectly and nicely so all of that is gonna heal up if you don't have something like see i have the natural stone um tile so anything have to do with the rough surfaces if he's gonna spend a lot of time on it um he's still gonna have them but when they grow up it's very obvious because again this paws i just grew into this size so before that was just you know sticking out so all those when he lies down was all his body weight and he's not nice i mean he's not like gentle there's nothing gentle about your boy yeah that's right because we're crazy we're nuts well right now we're in heaven so we're good but because <laughs> you love that you just love i don't even have to reinforce you but i will reinforce you for these things but because he is lying down on that side mostly this is why he got those beginning of the calluses so and there's another thing why we're touching the way we're looking on everything why we're doing all this is because anything like this happens you need to be able to hold the paw you need to be able to do everything okay and let's start doing the nails now his back nails most of the time as long as you are walking him on the concrete there is not going to be needed that much and uh uh, but we're still gonna work on that But that's pretty much what that is perfect. Let me just reinforce him here Okay, good job mm -hmm. Good good boy. No And I do suggest that you are doing all of this on your own and don't Pretty much, I don't let anybody else uh, do my dog's nails or, or, or whatever. The reasons for that majority of the time is because when you do it professionally, a lot of times they cut too short and they're just, um, not saying everybody does that, but a lot of them do it just because they just wanna cut because it's not, you know, you don't bring them as much as needed. And you cut it sometimes, not all the time, so one second, I'm going to reinforce him. Good job. So, um, because of that, I do it always myself, and I never have any kind of issues with them being scared. Because 
If you if the nail is bleeding, the nail has been. Oh my goodness! It's kisses, 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 kisses. All right, that's not time for kissing. Oh, I know, I know. No, down. Good. Okay, move them forward a little bit. That's it. That's good. That's good. That's good. Good job. Perfect. Very good. It's kind of hard for her to get to it and that. I mean, he's really alone. Really alone. Your dog is really alone. But see how she can manipulate everything, see what's in between. the, And that's kind of sort of what you need to do with a dog like that because... You know, all his things right now healthy, so he's all good, but you never know what he's going to do. Perfect. All right. And go to his backside and kind of see the nails in the back. Good job. And again, the more you're lifting those feet up, the less he's going to be comfortable, the less he's going to like it. But um, the more you're manipulating normal ways... But this is something that needs to be done, really. I can't stress it enough because if you start having a dog who is scared of the nail tramps or basic manipulations because he got hurt, and you know, you only need one one freaking nail to hurt, and then they just freak out about this, and then you can't do anything. It's very important, especially for breeds like that, because anytime those nails are daggers and they are making his whole big body whole frame is moving differently if his paw has to be you know um, accommodating those big ass nails that they get and um, now this thing the clippers my mind might not be the best thing I mean they have now all kinds of new stuff um, and you can grind them instead of cutting them the reason why we use this old school stuff is because this is the hardest way to you know like this is the what the most they dislike and because the most they dislike that's what i introduced to make sure that they'll take that just as well right you're so good you're so good and again um he's enjoying this so um treats are necessary for every nail you cut i would say i mean i didn't give him for everyone just because again he's obviously enjoying amanda's company but when you're working with this, it's better to be literally like, you know, just give him freaking treats for it, you know, because you want this to maintain for the rest of his life. You want him to be happy about you cutting his nails um, and be a very, very trusty with you. He's the best. Totally forgot to do a quick video on knowing okay with him as far as food goes. No. Understand why is this like oh okay here we go good god um he likes to play with that he's not a dog aggressive dog food aggressive dog or any kind of things and no he's not even um you know he's he likes to play with it still have to address it okay that's why i forgot to do it because he's really nice he's really sweet he's really wonderful not as important exercise for him as let's say for the shepherd that i just did that was just a horrific thing no but still have to so he's see he's he's trying to play with you and he's trying to just say who can't i have it because i am cute no good so he's just a player as far as that goes and he can't have it and he knows that but still have to practice that that's a patient exercise okay patience exercise versus any other exercises this is just a patience exercise for him so that's why i forgot about it and i'm doing it now no trying to play with it okay perfect very nice Please. 
Good. Very nice. I, I didn't know if I lost them or not. I'm going behind all the hair. And then after I'm here, I'm gonna make your dog bigger so you can see him. Somebody's anticipating treats. Oh, we put it on on the one cheek of ours. Good, that's gonna end up on me. Yay! So just remember, uh, place is a boundary. So he can stand, he can lie down, he can sit, he can do whatever. The only thing he couldn't do is leave it until you release him. Okay, I'm hoping this thing is going to drop until I get here, but I don't think so. It's probably going to be all in my hand. Very good. Okay. This is where I am, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna come to him. I get reinforced. Oh, thank you for this. Wonders of the, oh, I was so good, I didn't get it. Oh, good, where did you put it? I don't know, where did you put it? <laughs> oh, so pathetic. So pathetic. Yeah, you are. Now, you see how I'm not releasing them right away? So, basically, I don't want to release them right away. Um, anytime you release them right away that you come back, he's going to anticipate and he's going to start taking off prior to your, you know, uh, making decision to release them. So to make it easy on him, constantly mix it up. But the important part is here is the fact that, um, you know, there's no anticipation because he's not gonna know how it's all ends. So that's it. Okay, good job, yay, good boy. Who is that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at all that. Look at all that slobber. Look at all that slobber. We don't care. I'm just talking about this because it's funny. Okay. Okay. He is the most uh, weird great Dane ever. So here we go. All right. So we have this crate as always the same. Yeah, I know the eyes are always running. I know. Just a short one. Just give me a second. I'm going to put this leash on him. Okay. All right. So again, we have people just left from here so um this is the first great dane that 
um, actually exit in and enter in a car in this age. And I did it all by himself, so I don't have to push him. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Very good. No, we're not moving. That's one of his issues as far as he wants to try to be with you. Um, in public. It doesn't really happen at home or whatever it is, but because his confidence levels, um, he might actually do this to you. And I'm like, oopsie. Oh, yes, good boy. That's a good boy. That is a very good boy. Yeah, you are. So don't allow him to um, basically follow you. So make sure when you say down, he is down. It's a temporary thing. It only happens when they're that young and uh, when they're in public, you know, that he is insecure about. Um, he wants to be as close to you as possible. Well, you can't let him do that because that's habit is just going to turn into constantly being nudging you or touching you. And he's way too big to do this to you. Um, so that's basically that. gonna do that so I can we can see him so I hold it just like that nothing to it the doors might scare him he's never been here before good good job he's never been here before okay and I normally train like a Lois and if it's depot so don't really go and do this until just because we can keep uh we can meet other dogs here so i want to videotape that but uh what i don't want is for your dog to be attacked by another dog or approached or something that could get you know could get worse come on good boy come here yeah you big you you big like a tractor down good perfect good boy so there's nobody here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, keep him on the stay. So all this interest. Um, a lot of times you will see me correcting the dogs for um, too much sniffing and too much wondering what the world is like. In his case, yes, we're going to correct the big things if he's not healing with me, for example. But I don't want to discourage him to actually see what the world is. Not really. As long as he's healing with me, I'm very happy about him. Just healing with me, just like he does. So if he turns around and look, I want him to be able to do it. Um, that brings him confidence. That makes him a stronger individual as far as that goes no heal and obviously i will correct i didn't have to correct them right now but obviously i will correct them if he is too bad perfect very good and when i stop that's what you got to do walk again I stop and perfect a mondo I am gonna reinforce him and again this is one on the paw stuff it's because he slips like this completely like that on uh, the rough tile and he slides all the time so today he actually opened it up worse when he slid on that so there's nothing wrong with it it's all gonna be nice once his feet are the same size and we have some people going on here they just they passed into here but um he's doing very well come on good job um because he is not too fast of the boy there's people here's more people Good, good, very good. Perfect boy, very good. I 
and we stop. Yes, I know. Down. I had to say, say to them because they don't like these stickers on the floor. So that's what he was doing. So when he's in the new areas, you absolutely <laughs> the stickers bothering you. When he's in the new area, very good. Perfect. So basically all I do is I put the leash between the fingers and I have the collar in. And you see how I'm not talking too much to him? Good job. So not bad at all for being the first time in here and uh, never actually been anywhere. Um, I mean, first time in this store. got much more confidence and he kind of realizes what to do and when we stop that's what he's got to do and he knows that now I am going to reinforce him for this a lot because it's hard on him this is not like for Shepard to lie down no, no. good this is not like for Shepard to lay down or anything else. This is a great day. So it takes a lot of energy for them to do this. So I will reinforce that. No, good, no. Now I reinforce jumping and in and out so much that this dog is crazy about it. Because I have to tell you, this is the biggest issue that uh, Great Danes owners have is that he wouldn't jump out or on and they have to lift him up for the rest of his life. So this is so lucky for you that I can't even tell you because this is the biggest issue most people have. But I still want obedience, right? I don't want him to just when I open it, and, but he gets really excited to get in the car to go places. He loving it. And again, that's not that normal for a Great Dane. So I'm just, I'm just blown away by him. Okay, good boy. By himself, no worries, no issues, no nothing. Obviously I'm gonna take this off and voila. He kissed me, we kiss, we kiss, we do all that. <laughs> the best kid. You are the best kid. <gasps> please! Come on! Go ahead, please! Hey. I know, you go in, in circles. Good job. Yeah, good boy. Hi! Hi. Good job. This decision to make, he is making very good decision. That's the best one. That's the best one. Go ahead and pet him again and try again. Now, this is not how people should act when they get them in your house. But these people do exist, and that's why we train that way. Yes, you Between Amanda and the and the jealous Uga, it's a nightmare house. I know I'm Michael Jackson with one glove. It's so cute. She wanted to make sure it wasn't your video. <laughs> and walk away and walk away all together. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So. 
your big boy is really big now and what it is happening is anytime that somebody is going to come to your house meaning that one of you is going to come to your house so family um you're going to have to work on that so you you can't expect for him do this to people that are friends or you know um your delivery people or maintenance people or whatever unless you practice this on yourselves first now also please notice that i did not um released him when the amanda just uh went inside my house okay so all all i did is basically said that he was a good boy but i did not release him and i don't want to release him right away because i don't want your dog to make an association so the second people are passing by he is going to you know get um released because then next thing is going to happen he's going to release himself so that is what's going to happen and uh at this point because of how young he is and whatever you can still go and um you can absolutely treat him you know if you wish uh but you don't have to and uh i do treat him so that's pretty much what i do but now from that point on i'm gonna release him because there's nothing else going on and there was enough time okay. absolutely same exercise with this scenario <laughs> and then you can just reinforce them if you wish you don't have to but these what's important is whatever it's on the floor is not his so what happens is when you practice stuff like that when it's something drop uh, when you drop something when you position something on the floor that is not for him to have okay so he doesn't have to lay down he doesn't have to do anything else he doesn't have he just can't touch it now these treats are not going to be given to him you can give him something else but what this exercise explains is the fact that if it's on the floor it's not yours it's just not okay so that's basically where you want it to be and how you want to handle this a lot of people think that you know they're just giving them you know they pick up and just give it to him for not touching it but what you really explaining is eventually you can have it no you can't now you also didn't hear me say no because why like i was telling every time because when i hand the dog a treat okay i expect him to take it from my hand that's why when i was doing the previous exercise i was putting no in there because normally i want you to take it but right now you can't completely different when it's on the floor right floor means um that's not yours that's what it should mean now imagine you're trying to train this and you're giving them freedom and every time he sees something and he doesn't see you he is going to grab it that's why not unsupervised freedom is just cannot be your go-to and it could be many many other things too so he's trying to crawl into it good decision over there very good decision over there so i'm gonna kind of sort of create a little more distance but so far it's been a good decision still not gonna reinforce it because if you're gonna reinforce it too close to that attempt even though he made a good decision you still don't want him to attempt you don't want him to think about it you want him to ignore it that's what you want him to do make sense so when you're done here you're literally collecting everything and you're putting it away and you are not giving it to him okay and if he is behaving obviously doing the exercise you can reinforce him nothing wrong with that okay very good awesome okay He's excited, but he can't come out. So we were in a pet supermarket. I did not tell him to lie down. Having said that, he does it all on his own. 
and I'm just gonna have to put this thing on. Just let me put this. Basically, all I want from him is this. So I can have all that and he can just do this, right? So he's not pushing me. He's not doing anything. Absolutely not, okay? So I lowered the numbers for him. Uh, doesn't matter, that's not really concerning you until we'll talk, but uh, car is backing up, so I'm just gonna wait to let him out. Here they are, crossing us by, and okay, good job, very good, perfect, perfect, this is a perfect boy, perfect, perfect boy, all right, absolutely perfect man, all right, so I can close everything, so this is what the deal is, you know, you always want to make sure that your dog stay out of her out of your normal routine life and let you do everything so that that you can actually like your dog how about that and yes my dirty car is closed now Phew, so i'm sorry i i should have done that oh boy and he's a little too excited and uh Again, the problem with that is um, I don't mind him being excited. I don't mind him being exploring. I really don't. There's a lot of dogs that I do mind because they're coming from a wrong place. But with him, um, it's a good place. Yes, it's our car. It's all okay. It's all good. Good boy. Very good. And because the way his eyes are, and he does have a quite extra skin around them and everything, um, because of his eyes like that, I am um, not really, don't want to keep his head you know, not moving. He needs to see everything so he's not getting scared and good job. No, we're not peeing here, even though there's a lot of dogs who do. You got my kind of dog <laughs> Every every time it's a different dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stopping so what he needs to do but he's too preoccupied down no down good now there's a birds ferrets rabbits and they all smell so yeah I expected him not to listen too much so here we go now, I'm going to actually reinforce him not for not listening or whatever. I mean, he did listen when I said it too. He just didn't do it on his own. I'm reinforcing him to stay in for the direction and watching everything. Good job. Very good. There's a lot of poop on the floor. There's a lot of activity. Perfect. Now, let's go. Very good. Easy. Pay attention. Now, a lot of them freak out on this. He didn't. Very good. Because, come on, good boy. Who is a good boy? Yeah, you are. You're good. You're such a good boy. Perfect. And this is very hard. There's a ferrets. And... Let's see if he remembers it. No. Down. Did not remember. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around and until he actually remembers. Yeah, you gotta remember to do it by yourself. I mean, this is hard. You know what I mean? 
Is this right on his level? No, we're not eating birds. <laughs> this is hard. No, good. Very good. And I stop. I stopped. No. Down. Had to correct him. Good. Perfect. Yeah. A couple steps. And again, this is extremely hard. They're all on his level. Look at them. They're flying on his level. So, not easy. Good. Very good. Almost. No, down. Didn't, didn't correct them at all, but no, down. Down. Oh, that's what it is. Okay, I'm sorry. Down right here. And here's what the problem was. And this is totally my fault. Oh my, oh my God. That's not even your dog. Nope. Good. You know what it is? There's poop on the ground. There's poop on the ground. That's why he wouldn't lie down there. Poor baby. I corrected him. Well, dumbass me. Oh, unbelievable. Come on, boy. Sorry. Very sorry. down good he's like i don't trust you now very good Come on. okay good job good job i'm not gonna put you in the poop i promise you anymore oh my god i haven't seen that and i stop good boy no down good good Very good. Very good. And again, this is something that, I mean, this is not easy. Right? Right. I'm not gonna reinforce that because he's way too much into himself, but um, still have to work even though I was doing whatever it is wrong I was doing. But this is very hard to work with. Good job. Let's go. Oh boy. I know. I put you in the poop. No, we're not. I'm going to actually pass here because. Good. Very good job. So. That was totally my fault. Not paying attention where he went. Totally my fault. Absolutely, totally my fault. Come on. Yeah, those cars are going to let us go. Come on. So, totally my fault. Unbelievably uh, feeling shippish. However, you know, still have to lie down, even though I'm a horrible, horrible, horrible horrible person at the moment. I can't believe I did that to him. No. Down. It, there's no poop now. Alright. Well, trust is of this kind of thing. So, yeah. Sometimes that happens. And, uh, he doesn't trust me right now to put him anywhere. So we'll see that. Same kind of impulse control we are going to do with the dogs. And that's something that you can obviously work out on the group classes or whatever that is. Umka. Good. Around. Keep going. I'm just going to do this. Keep going. No, keep going. Keep going. Very good. So he has to maintain. Good job.
Very good. Around. Keep going. Nope. Around. Keep going. Down. Good. <laughs> Very good, babies. Very good. Excellent kids. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Where is she? Well, you can go get her. Come on. <laughs> you don't know what to do with her, huh? She's fast and now she wants to poop, so. So she's gonna stop because you wanna poop. She wants to poop, so. Oh, now you wanna go. Yeah, that's your dog. You're a good man. You're a big man, huh? <laughs> you are just adorable. Mwah. Okay, in. Good. All right. So this is weird, and I put this specific weird thing right, um, you know, um, here in the middle of nowhere for him. The reason I did that, let me just take his color off. Uh -huh. I can't do this on your big boy with my, you know, um, on one hand. So, just because the equipment is off, he is not allowed to come out anyway. So you're just gonna close it in. Um, Great Danes for the most part, because it's so large. And so really cannot tell, you know, how, how big and whatever that is they are. Um, they do have usually difficulty of going into the new spaces, um, be it their crates or anywhere a tiny, tiny something. So they don't really know um, they're going to fit in. They're not really comfortable with that. So I spend a lot of times uh, to make sure that 
yes, he was, you know, he's, he's fine with the crate, he's great with a crate, but um, just to go into the new place for something like what I just have right now. And uh, I just put it together and decided to let him go and see how he's gonna deal with this. So obviously later on, he's gonna have to go somewhere and um, to the vet or whatever, he's gonna need to stay there. But the biggest thing about him is because you give him so much freedom, that's why he came in with two socks in his system. So when, I bring, when we bring him back, we're gonna have to make sure that if nobody is watching the dog, dog doesn't have a freedom. And on, on the contrast, you're gonna get right away a lot of um, you know, watch time, a lot of learning time because he has to learn he's not gonna eat socks and that doesn't come overnight. So until he's a year and a half or two years old, um, that's basically what you need to do with him is to explain to him what is okay and what is not, but he can't do that if he is free by himself. So we'll talk about more in details about this, but as of right now, there was a flies and everything else. So he's playing in the crate and there's nothing wrong with it. But this is the only way he comes in and comes out of this crate, okay? So he's not pushing the boundary. He's not doing anything else, um, okay? So that's how we're gonna do it. And this is not any, by any mean, any kind of crate he stays any time in. Um, right now he's just supervised because this is our emergency crate. I just took it from the outside and stick it here. That's um, all I did as far as that goes. Okay, so I'm gonna put this there because I gotta put the equipment so he doesn't come out of the crate unless his equipment is on, right? So that's basically where we are and I can't put it with the one hand so I'm gonna put you up there and I am going to... So the door is open. He still can't come out, right? Okay. And now I'm going to put the equipment. Once I put the collar on, I'm going to back up some more. Door open is not an invitation to come out. I'm gonna have to kind of sort of hold it because this door is not staying open. This is the only way he comes out. He can't be pushing it. He can't be doing it himself. None of that is permissible. That's what creates the discipline. Good decision. Okay, okay. I'm gonna tap him. Okay, good job. Good boy. And he's back in. Come on out. <laughs> You're so silly. You're so silly and lovely. Good God, I love him. Good God, I love him. You got such a best boy. You got such a good boy. He's the best baby. Best, best, best baby. Love him. Oh, you big. Oh, you big. Okay. Zoobies. How about our zoomies, zoomies, zoomies? How about them? How about them, huh? You are such a good boy, silly boy. Yay, silly boy. Silly boy. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Come on, Zoomy. Come on, Zoomy boy. We're not going there. You're going around this thing, not in through it. Whoa. And he just cleared. Did not clear that. So... Boy. Nope. Uh, good boy. Uh, I had to sacrifice my shoulder to for my car not to close the door. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Thank you. 
Oh, that used to be impossible. Now it is possible. Because before when people talked to him, he would break everything. So, now it's all good. I know, I know. Let's go. Good job. Come on. Good job. We're in Pittsburgh. And right now I'm going pretty fast. Um, he's a lot of times is a slow walker. So I do change the pace a lot with him because you just have to. Okay, the door could be scary again. No, nope, not at all. Perfect. And there's a lot of dogs for pee. Very good. People over there. Very good. Perfect. And as long as he keeps up with my pace, I am gonna let him look. Good. And I'm just gonna give him a time, okay? He's thinking about it, but there's a cat right here. No, down. Okay. So again, didn't have to correct him, doesn't have to do anything. Sometimes I have to help when there is uh, something that's really, he is gonna be staring at. Not gonna reinforce that, except for the fact that when he's gonna be done, I'm gonna reinforce him for staying. But he's looking right at the cat. And can't look straight at him. So for that, I am going to reinforce him. And because a cat is kind of sort of um, tormenting him a little bit, I am going to just keep him staying here. Because he really does not understand the fact that and there's a people behind us okay good and people with the dog okay perfect okay let's go good job good job so do a lot of walking and downs uh with him and as long as he is you know not tired he will do it religiously um this breed does get tired much faster so give him a rest in between the sets that's something that you really gotta do with him good boy no down good yeah you're good there's nobody here this way so I'm gonna kinda do some stay in exercises. And just because I'm gonna take that leash does not mean he can get up. That's another thing. Just make sure you understand that. No, you're gonna have to keep up. So that's the only time when I will address the sniffing. It's when I see that he is missing because of that. Good job. Very good. People right here, it's very good. We are kind of here in the pickle because I gotta go in between. Hey, let's go. Oopsie. That's okay. Because I couldn't pass through it with him. So I kind of have to bump into it. Good job. Perfect. Perfect. All right. 
Where's your good boy? Okay. Now, how fast he's going down, do you have to address that? The more he's tired, the slower he's gonna be. And that's, again, it's a long-legged dog. What you saw in the first video, um, he was very much not tired, he was willing to do it, he was focused, he was everything. Second video, I obviously screwed up because I did that, um, let's put you in the poop situation. And um, right now he was, kind of judging my judgment and I'm not as focused because he is getting tired. Now, still, um, you help him in the beginning. So he's young right now. So you see me saying down without correcting him. I'm helping him to keep his focus on. Um, if it would be a German Shepherd and I just had the German Shepherd, no, good. Or oh, he re repositioned, that's another thing. He wanted to reposition, which is he can't do because again, he's a big dog and that's why he has those things on his feet because this is hard on him. So, but it is what it is. And once he's a big boy and grows into everything, he will be just fine. Okay. So I'm again, kind of going fast outside because I know he's tired so I'm kind of trying to keep the momentum going and this is not a small or medium-sized dog who never tired this is very very different it's mentally and it's physical all of that stuff is important for you to realize um, however in the beginning no down Again, this is a very different response from a first video, but you do have to understand it's been, you know, um, this is a third store we visit and that's how we do it. We just visit one third at a time. And because of, I wanna show you the dynamic, you know, I wanna show you how, um, how he's behaving, how he's getting very good. Perfect. Didn't like it. Doesn't like the car behind us. Driving pretty close. Still, he is doing what he's supposed to be doing. And I'm gonna reinforce him for staying here and not going in the car because he does want to, big time. Because he's like, I'm done. I'm done, people. I'm done, right? Hey, okay. okay, good job. Alrighty, done. It's gonna be an impulse control here. So we're gonna start with something that he it does not like, and we're going to. Good boy. Go ahead. Perfect. Good job. And we're gonna go into something that he absolutely loves. Obviously, and you know that. Come on. I'm just gonna reinforce him good for that because he didn't move or do anything. Go ahead. Perfect. Okay, wait one second because that was very, very good. Good job. Okay. Good, and go ahead and pick it up and do it from another side.
That's awesome. It's kind of excited, so. Perfect. All right. Very good job, boy. Very good man. You, you, boy. <laughs> so I'm going to go behind all this. I'm going to stick my hand out and make your dog bigger. Not that I need to make your dog bigger, but it is what it is. Oopsie, sorry. Uh -huh. Sorry, I am all over the place. And that's because your dog slobber is all over everything. To include my phone so i'm trying to wipe it now versus wiping it yeah no later so because you see like it has only one thing string well the second one is on my hand slash my phone slash everything <laughs> not complaining this is a fairy dust of my job so love it no 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 nothing is that but Got used to towels pretty fast in the house. So here's the distance from me to him. And this is where he is. So phone is finally slobber free. Uh, five minutes down stay is what you start with as far as when he comes home. Now, on the backyard, it's still considered to be a um, destruction-free area. Even though, as you saw, at least two birds fly, you know, fly right in front of us. But it's lizards, it's birds, it's people walking, it's neighbors, it's neighbors' dogs. But this is the area where he is training on a regular basis. So this is why it's considered to be a, um, you know, distraction free thing. So as of right now, just without distractions, he can go easily 40 minutes. But you start with three to five minutes on your first day. And by the end of two weeks, you should be well in your 20s um, as far as minutes you know being on the place um, or the downstay so the downstay is much more precise that's why we do the longest stay uh, for the video is on the downstay because downstay requires elbows to be in the ground whereas place he can sit he can turn around it's much easier you know for them to uh, contain themselves for longer he is not one of those that are easily stay so don't take that for granted. He is full of energy. This dog is didn't come from a Great Danes. Never mind his look and everything else. Uh, we call him a giraffe, but you know that's his house name from that point on. So we're gonna do a five minutes. I'm gonna start walking um, in about a minute, actually in exactly a minute, and uh, that is what's important to do in the highest. Uh, a hardest way possible so what means hardest way so right now I'm using distance I'm using cover and um, you know um, that's basically um, what you know what I'm using as a distraction so the furthest away you should put him you know as far as your visibility but you need to see him 
he doesn't need to see you, but you do need to see him. And uh, obviously in the house, it's just gonna be in the most walking in area or, you know, whatever that is that we're gonna position. And when I get to your house, we will discuss all of this, obviously. So all of this is good. And um, it's been five minutes, so I'm gonna start walking. When I start walking, I'm gonna put your dog in the normal uh, way because if I don't zoom out then I can't walk and show you a normal dog so he's extremely uh, crazy your dog is nuts let's just say that and um, because of that his attention span and his stays you can't you know not pay attention to because it's gonna be harder for him um, you know to break oh my god so that second thing you're gonna give me to, to me now you see how when I come back I'm not really in a hurry to release him now I am going to reinforce him so I am gonna give him um, the treat but I am not gonna just release him okay I'm gonna stick around and do whatever why look at the dog's face there's no one there is no anticipation to get up majority of what people do majority of people what they do is they either come back and immediately release the dog or which is even worse they call in them from the, the downstay and that's one of the worst things you can do why because the dog anticipates the next movement and gets too excited to contain himself and gets corrected a lot and ended up absolutely hating working and that's not the way you wanted to do you know you wanted this to do so you see he has no like no anticipation whatsoever he has no idea when i'm gonna release him and that's the point now i can even be nice and this is what the videos are for right now the videos are for you for me to show you that um you should be nice to him as far as that goes so first two three weeks is extremely a lot of treats you know uh spoiled him with all this because you're going to start building your relationship with him because i already have one but you still have to work on it and is it going to touch the ground <gasps> it just touched the ground this thing landed and now it's much shorter um <laughs> you put it all over yourself but <laughs> and because he loves to run and play and um a lot of you know uh bowing and over all that stuff so he gets this all over his i'm sure you know but once you start getting with treats yes he is very very like that now right now he is like that because during the training we use a lot of treats later on you're just going to treat the best behavior so it's not going to be constant and once he's adult you're not going to be treating at all however it's just a gradually take away from this but in order to teach him I do need to use a lot of treats because that way the process is teaching them to like working. He is absolutely, oh, it made a circle. Look, it's a complete circle. Yay, oh, it touched them. Okay, sorry, this is just me really loving your um, dog's uh, slumber things. It's just a, it's just a gimbal, gimbal interest for me. So, does that make sense? So all of this stuff is important in the beginning. And yes, uh, slobber, you got to deal with this a little bit. But um, you are not going to do as much as I do, as I did. So with time, it's all going to go away um, as far as all this anticipation of anything. But you see how calmly dog waiting for me to release it. And the second I'm going to release it, okay, <laughs> he is ready to go. He is ready to go. He's ready to go. Nice. Good job. Okay. Nice. Good. Boy, who's the boy? 
I got a wide lens so your dog look even funnier than he actually looks. Place. <laughs> All right, let me stop the white lenses business. Good job. Okay. Good job. Very good. Where's the boy? Where's the good boy? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Mm hmm. Good boy. No treats, bud. No treats all the time. No, we don't do treats. I just want to make sure that we don't do treats all the time. Place. Good bud. Very good bud. And every time he goes to the goat roast first, he's like looking skinny. And then he looks again big and whatever. And then, okay, he looks skinny again. It's hilarious how they grow. Good job, come on. Come, good, good, come. Place. Very good. Perfect. All right, so I'm just at the door, okay? And I am planning to go out. And you see how I'm not talking to your dog at all? That's the most important thing. One second, I'm just trying to go and do it this way all right so here he is um and he's kind of staring and kind of looking but he cannot cross that line and he knows that and it's pretty much all on him to cross that line uh because i am actually putting it on him so I'm not telling them sit or stay or down or any of that, okay? All I'm telling them, the open door does not mean anything. You can't come out unless I released you out of the house, out of any boundary, out of anything, okay? So that's basically what that means. And this is what is happens when you, with every boundary that you have in the house. So make sure that you don't talk to him and you make him to respect the boundary, respect your space. This is a lot for him because when he came in, he was basically in your space the whole time. So I need to take him out of your space. And so when that comes over, he knows not to be right in front of the door because it doesn't make him go faster by any means. And as of right now, look how he is standing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk in. And again, when I'm walking in, there's nothing special happens either. Okay, nothing special. All he needs to do is he needs to give me the way to go. I cannot just walk in, you know, there you go. And that's what it is, right? But 
So I'm just key team in and we're doing fine and whatever. I said hi, whatever. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go out. And this time around, I actually want him with me. I want him to go with me. <gasps> okay, come on. Good boy. Yeah, you are. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. And here he goes. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> a good boy he's a good boy down perfect boy perfect boy perfect boy okay he's a perfect boy who is that go 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 on good job go go I, I can't tell you how much I love him his personality is the best one I've ever, I don't think out of every Dane I worked with. It's just the best. Down. Perfect. Nope. Down. Good. Now you see he kind of come up too close to me that I didn't want. So I'm going to leave him alone for a little bit before I um, enforce it. Okay. Good job. <laughs> he is funny. He has a sense of humor. He is reckless because he's just not scared of anything. He is fantastic. This dog. Now he's also um, way too smart for his own good. See how he lay down thinking he's going to get treats? You're not. You are not. I don't know if he wants to poop. So let me just let him sometime. Go on. Go on if you want to. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, okay. They're just pee pee. That's fine. Distracted by me. Good boy. Down. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, hon. I gotta have him on that. That lawn zooms makes him look like he's ginormous and skinny but it's just the links down perfect perfect he's big but <laughs> he's a baby okay 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 you have eye boogers I just wiped your eye boogers I did go on Down. Perfect. <laughs> okay. And you can do so much more with him than like with a lot of uh, different Danes that, you know, I worked with. So, so much more. He is just um, a very large dog with a normal size dog um, spirit. I mean, it's amazing. And now he's trying to lie down just to um, possibly get a treat and do it on his own. He's a good boy. Yeah, you're not going to get anything. You're not going to get anything. Let's go. You're not. So you can't praise that uh, too much. I mean, I'm not against him trying to please you. However, he didn't ask for it. So he shouldn't be doing that. Make sense? Come on. Down. Perfect. Oh, two hands. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Love him. I think he's the best. I think he's absolutely the best. The best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Down. Perfect. And that's the mood you want to work him at. See how happy and and playful he is and that's and just keep working his butt. Keep working his butt. Okay. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it's just fantastic dog. Love him, love him, love him. He's such a lover, such a big lover, such a lover, 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 such a big lover. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, Goof. Let's go, Goof. Come on. Come on. Come on. Down. So he wanted to get up. You could see that. And he didn't. So again, if I don't release him, he needs to stay. Right? Perfect goof. Perfect goof. Okay. Good job. All right. Oh, my goodness. It's already been over six minutes. Okay, we're done. Okay, okay, okay. You're good. You're good. You're so good. Okay. 